Algoma, Wisconsin rests on the shores of Lake Michigan, about 50 miles east of Green Bay. Long known as a mecca for sport fishing, the town is also in the heart of dairy country. Algoma's 3,000 plus residents were recently stung by the closing of one of their largest employers, a manufacturing company, at a cost of some 300 jobs. But the community rallied from that and other challenges, coming together to advance an innovative wellness agenda known as Live Algoma. Live Algoma is a way that we can try to promote wellness, but this is also financial. So that's a priority for us as a city to try to bring in some more uh, industry to town. Live Algoma was truly a coalition of people that got together and said, how can we improve uh, the well-being of people in Algoma? We're doing a great job with the students. We're doing a great job with the To me, Live Algoma is the way people work together. It's like our culture now. It's the way we interact with each other. It's the language that we use. Hey, that's one really good one. Community Wellness Center, that's an envy of every community around. The Wellness Center is connected to the Algoma School District. The two facilities together really bridged many gaps um, between our youth and the older generation. When we built it, it was really tried to be the hub of our community. So how do we get people to engage, um, obviously in physical activity, but more importantly, having that dialogue on what makes people healthy. It makes my heart sing when I go into a room and I see someone who's 80 next to someone who's 16. Oh, it's something we all need to do to keep out of the nursing home for one day. <laughs> they're doing things together um, and they're building those authentic relationships that really will be the catalyst for improvement in our community. For some people it's having a conversation, a meaningful conversation, or maybe you just need some ideas on how to eat right, or maybe you need to stop in and check in with with Jody every once in a while just to make sure you're okay. Good morning, Elmer. How are you doing today? Okay, good to see good. you. Have a seat. I am a community nurse activator and I'm available um, to all community members for free. They can see me for health coaching. They can talk to me about nutrition, uh, weight loss, any of those things. Sometimes it doesn't mean reducing their cholesterol numbers. It could be that they're working with Jody on stress reduction. Yeah. Well, where do you get new ideas from? You get new ideas from your youth. A lot of what we do is about cross-generation connection. Community Fab Lab is bringing in the community into the school and, and it's, it's given the opportunity for the, the people who come in to use equipment, get um, project ideas, they get training, all from the students that are here. We're making either the corn flour or the rose today and Hannah decided to make the corn flour. Logan's a great teacher. The kids do a great job um, helping the community members like myself learn. They're doing the needful uh, skills that'll get them hired, so such as public speaking, teamwork, planning, and, and they're also learning a trade. So that's where these community fab labs come into play. Wolf Tech is a place that's attached to our high school where youth can learn skills that are ready for the manufacturing workforce. They use CNC machines, which are computer controlled manufacturing machines, and they learn that trade so that they're ready when they graduate to just jump right in to any of our local businesses. We actually have helped some of the local businesses by machining all of their consumables. So we're able to help the businesses obviously create more revenue, more profit, things like that, so they're happy. Our company decided that we were going to take one of our printing presses and we were going to bring it up here and we would introduce them to the basics of printing. I love it because it's a it's a very precise job. It Everything has to be done to a certain standard. You're going to take your dominant hand and move your other hand through. Live Algoma, it's high school students taking on a challenge of teaching hands-only CPR to 100 people and in a year's time, they're focused on 3,000 people. Hands Only CPR started with um, the American Heart Association and Bell & Health. They donated some um, Hands Only CPR mannequins, and they asked the kids to do something creative with them. The students took that mannequin, the Hands Only CPR mannequin, and they thought, you know, if we could make an aim that we could um, train 47 people at the next um, basketball game, could we accomplish that? 
and they ended up actually uh, training well over 100. Well, that kind of, you know, got their juices full and they were really excited, built momentum. We started picking other events that we knew our community members would be attending, which led to adding more people in training. We've made a video for the Packers, we've trained um, other communities like Casco and Green Bay, and then now our goal is to train 3,000 people by December 31st. Well, you guys are doing a great job harvesting today. East Shore Industries is a place in our town that has adults with disabilities that are able to be employed. So they, they work for local businesses. It's also a place where they can connect with the community. They connect with the community through outings, going to the garden club at the high school, going to the community wellness center and working with high school students. When my students have a chance to interact with our East Shore Industry clients, they have a chance to give back and to see their strengths. Nice job. The yeah. students are learning to engage and to, to interact, to see their response. The joy on their faces is an intrinsic value that's irreplaceable. It's nice because like, we kind of share the same like passion, I guess, because we all get to like do it together. And like, I don't know, they just seem excited and just kind of makes me excited whenever they're so happy about it. East Shore Industries is a big part of Erica's life. Um, she has friends there. Um, she gets excited to see her friends. It's, it's a place where she can feel safe and comfortable with peers. We are so blessed to have a place like East Shore in Algoma. They're able to build relationships with people that they would have probably have never have built before. The Algoma is made on volunteerism. Um, you know, we're only a, a city of a little over 3,200 people. You can't pull things off unless you have everybody working together. And we have that here. It's kind of unique. I step into a, a community conversation or a committee of people, and the makeup of the people around that table, I have never seen. Um, we could have youth at the table. We could have uh, formal leaders working with maybe informal leaders or untapped uh, leaders. That's exciting to see. Do we have everything right? Absolutely not. Do we have struggles? Absolutely. But the people that we've met in the last three years and the people that have come here to, to witness what we're doing gives me a whole lot of hope that there's a lot of really cool stuff about to happen.